Hi everyone, my name's Bill and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. In this video, we are going to have a look at thrust differential. This is where you have uh, two motors on your plane and they have two separate ESCs. And what you can do, you can actually make the aircraft yaw or act like a rudder by accelerating one e either side. So we need to be able to set that up. So our rudder stick, uh, we'll, we'll be able to adjust both of those um, motors independently. So let's switch over to the computer and I'll show you how I've done this. Okay, I've got my um, diff thrust model up on the screen and you can see we obviously will need to have two channels for the separate motors. You can see we have two channels for the throttle. Now channel three is motor for the left motor and channel five is for the right motor. So you would then need to add a line in to your normal throttle. So the first one, all I did in here was I just named it left motor so that I could see clearly which is which. Otherwise that would be standard. Then we need to add a second line. And in that second line, you can see I've named it uh, rudder yaw, sorry, right yaw. And then the source is the input rudder. Your weight, now your weight, this is important. The weight needs to be 200 and the curve needs to be 100. That's everything we need to put in. If we now move on to the second channel, so you would need to add this channel. You, the first line is standard, and we're just going to put a uh, right motor, and then the source would be the throttle input, and then the weight would be 100%. That's everything. Then we're going to add a line like we did with the other motor. We're going to call this um, left yaw. Uh, the input is uh, source's rudder. This time minus 200 and then the curve is 100. Now, if we go, okay, so if we demonstrate this now, we simulate, okay. And if you see now, here's our, okay, I fly mode one, so it may be slightly different to you. So if I put the throttle up, oops, let's just turn the monitors on, there we go. And you can see channel three and five are both at zero throttle. We pull up and we'll go to full throttle symmetrically on both motors. Now we pull this down. Now my rudder stick on, in my case, is this side. So if I do rudder left, you'll see the opposite motor starts to go up. So I have full range there. If I go to center, even though it's only half the stick, you'll see it goes from minus 100 to plus 100. And then the same the other way, we'll look at the channel three and you'll see. So we have full control over that motor. Now, you may need to adjust that amount. It might be too much. You may have to adjust the weights so that it's, it's less than that. But this gives you some idea of how you need to set this up. If you, if you want to set this up with, when you have dual motors. I'd just like to pop back into the settings because I think we should actually set this up to a switch so that you can turn the thrust differential off so that you only have rudder. So let's go back to the computer. Now, all we would have to do is go to our rudder line of each motor and assign a switch. So I am going to put this on switch SE in the middle position. That's when we would have the differential thrust. So we're going to change that on the first channel for the first motor and on the second channel for the second motor. So that's going to be SE in the middle position. So now it will turn off. So what I've done, I've just added some special functions uh, there. So we've got the sounds. So let's demonstrate this. Okay, so if we, I'm just going to reset this so that it works. And then we're going to go into the model. So at the moment, we should only have throt uh, rudder. So if I move my rudder, you can see channel four is, uh, is working only. And we've got our throttle, which is working uh, properly. So if we now switch on differential. Now we should see the motor, either motor, depending on which way we're going. There we go. Channel five and channel three. So I think that's a, a good modification to do so that you can actually switch it off. You could have it permanently uh, assigned to the rudder 
Uh, but I think it's a good idea to have a switch. Well, I hope you found this uh, video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.